evening, everyone, with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro. I'm Mike Emery. Tonight, we bring you a matchup between two great teams. Your thoughts, Eddie, on what we'll see here? This is the game you mark on your calendar with a big red circle with a thick, fat marker. The fans are pumped and the players are ready to rock. Let's get it on. Team Sweden is carrying on in the defensive zone. Puck is thrown to Lander. A shot. Chooses the corner. And at an angle to Cromwell. One-timer. Score! I just had the feeling, Ray, that there was going to be a goal coming, that the way that they were skating and pressuring and supporting all over the ice, you knew the puck was going to end up in the back of the net. That looks like it almost went right through him, Edzo. Just above the pad, he's in the butterfly. It's on the low glove side. It's a save a goal he should make. Just a little under nine minutes play. It's a 1-0 game. Sweden goal, scored by number 28. He gains the zone. Let's it go. Just missed the net. The Germans get their goalie to the bench for the extra man. And we get a penalty here. The referee strides over to hand it out. Sweden's got a minor penalty here for cross-checking. Doc, you can push in the game of hockey, but once you get that stick up, two hands on the stick, that's a penalty. These hits are going to start to take their toll as the game goes on. This has been a really physical period. Two guys together with force. Big force. Team Sweden's got two for boarding. Well, the officials are instructed, Doc, as you know, that any time a player gets hit from behind in this fashion, it's Just a backhand. The first frame is done. Only one goal scored and two periods yet to go. Hey, fans, we have a car on the east lot with its lights on. FSV 4494. If you don't know your license plate, it's a blue sedan. Sweden's goal came on this play. There's at least one locker room that's happy at the end of this period. We'll be right back. Team Sweden's moving it up the wing. Oh, here's a wrister. Right in that catching glove. Good work. Germany's got it back in their own zone. Neither team is giving up much in the way of room or scoring chances. Every inch of the ice is being contested. He scores! Two in a row! Nobles gave the goaltender no time to react with that quick snapshot. Really don't know if he could do much more than that. He's in the right shape. He drops to the butterfly to cover the bottom half of the net. But this is perfect up over top of him. The Germans have broken the tie, and we're still in the second period. Much uncertainty about which way this game's going to go. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid takes away the bottom of the net. <laughs> Quick work on the faceoff. Punched away. Trying to go to Reimer. Enormous collision. We saw him coming just at the last minute. He's able to spin off, but that's a big hit. Reimer's down after that hit, Doc. You're right, that was an enormous hit. Guys, bone jarring hit here. He was hurt immediately. Germany's got a little more room on their bench. They're short, a player. The trainer's gone from the bench. The player's getting evaluated. Guys, I'll try and pick up some information. Looks over his options from the corner. Good jab with the stick there. Taken away. Score! And this one is tied.
When you're in the low slot and a puck's on the backhand, you got to react quickly. The goalie must be looking at that player wondering what in creation was he thinking. That's a terrible defensive read, and as a result, the goal is scored. Sweden's got this game even up now, and we're still in the second period. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Germany's up the wing, setting things up. Good place to shoot from, and he does. A whistle and a rest. Man, you dream of chances like this. The net was empty, the goaltender was nowhere to be found, and all you can do is ring it off the post. Gains the zone, and a save. Let's a shot go. The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. When the home team wins, you win $10 off at Rob's. When the home team wins, bring your tickets to any Rob's Sporting Goods for a coupon good for $10 off your next Lindholm's shot became his goal. Tickets it tied the game, and we had to break. center ice the breakaway deflected off the blocker one into another shifts to the backhand and shoots it's on his stick up that left side loose puck there was no getting through one team is going to be short from this let's see what the call is Nordy's going to the box a player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. This power play has to find a way to get more people to the net. I agree entirely, Eddie. Let's see if they prove us right here. Let's it go. Score! On a man advantage, you can't try to be too cute. Once the lane opens up, you must attack, and that's exactly what happened there. I think when he takes a look at this on video, he's going to see he was in really good position, and he just wasn't able to stop a perfect shot. The Germans have broken the tie here in the third period. A wonderful ride to the finish for all of us now. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? He wanted to make sure that his team was noticed here, Doc. He delivered that hit with a... He hit the goal post. Rister! Oh, what a save that was. Puck covered, whistle blown. Guys, bone jarring hit here. He was hurt immediately. that pass from the other point man and a save and it's a pleasure to bring in the third voice on our crew rinkside here's ray ferrar team sweden's got to get back on the practice ice because they've had so many chances to score they haven't had any finish and they can't hit the net gains the zone what a shot but a great answer with the glove He imposed his will. Good use of the stick, broke that pass up. And the game is over. Terrific outing. One team leaves the ice with a smile and probably chuckling a little bit because they got the win even though they didn't have the puck much. They're going to have games like this and over the course of the season, these type of games even themselves out. Some nights are special in memory. This one was an outstanding game. So long for now.